Peggy 16. Welcome to Dungeons 3 in 3 minutes. Everybody knows that a sequel in a successful video game series must go one step further. And now that the Dungeon Lord has finally united all of the evil forces under his banner, it's time for expansion. Look forward to bigger dungeons, bigger traps, bigger monsters, bigger battles. Of course, there's also a lot more to do. Across 20 campaign missions and endless randomly generated maps, the ultimate evil can really let off some steam. Sometimes, literally, when you're running from walls of fire and trying to build your lair in a flooded dungeon. Ah, ah, everyone loves an underwater level, don't they? Expansion and efficient dungeon management are no problem for the all-controlling evil. They may not look like it, but the legions of the Horde, the undead and demons, are more than capable of working side by side. While the hot-blooded succubus expels the good from heroes in the torture chamber, the Naga learn to improve their healing capabilities in the library. Of course, nothing of this would be possible without our hard-working green collar. I said hard-working <coughs> snots, tirelessly creating rooms and traps. Even a dungeon lord needs a spot of fresh air on occasion. At least, that's what my mother used to say when I spent all day in front of the TV. In any case, a whole world is waiting out there to be evil-fied by the dreadful touch of the dungeon lord. And thanks to the completely revised controls, it's now even more fun to crush enemies in quaint landscapes. Should any foolish hero stray into your dungeon, just lock them up into the cells. And lo and behold, our former adversaries rise once again as bony skeleton warriors from the depths to fight solely for evil. And if you're not a fan of the whole Psy Zero look, simply dump the wretched do-gooders directly into the graveyard to set up your very own little zombie farm. With the increasing number of staff, it's more important now than ever before for the expanding evil not to neglect their needs. Therefore, a job in upper management has become available, and immediately filled by the previously good Knight Elf Priestess, Talia. While her strengths clearly lie in her executive powers and devastating spells, she also managed to hide her one weakness from the Dungeon Lord in her job interview. The inner conflict with her good side. What have I done? Oh no! Well, as long as her fireballs continue to torch the fluffy, flammable forces of good, that shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully. Three, two, one. Ah! An evil heart knows no rest. And by the way, I am also back in Dungeons 3.